What's going on everybody? So today we're gonna to do a new video on oil leaking into the coolant. As you can see there, got some coolant, definitely got an oil mixture and it's not a liner. It's more than likely gonna be back here on the module. So Tony is gonna to be taking things apart. Chavo, saluda a todo el mundo. <laughs> so that's 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 Chavo. He's that's Tony. He's the one that helps us out and does a lot of the a lot of the awesome work that you guys see in the video. He helps me out. He's really good at what he does. So again, what we have is a mixture of oil in the coolant, and whether it's this DD15, which is a 2009 2010, or whether it's this DD15, which is a 2013 or so, it really doesn't matter. This uh, it's the same thing is going to apply. So we have a mixture in the area. I'm going to show you where it's at. I'm going to show you how to fix it and what you need to do really to get quick, it going. I know Tony's working on this and I'm not really going to show the taking apart process. I'm just going to show what you need to do to fix it. But that is the module. So that module is going to have to come out and there's a lot of accessories that have to come out before that module. Just to give you what an idea of what needs to come out, obviously the intake needs to come out, the crossover hot pipe, all these little hoses, the belts, you know, a bunch of accessories have to come out again video itself i don't want to make a 30 40 50 minute video but i'm going to give you an idea of what needs to be done and again all this crap needs to come out before that module comes out once the module comes out it's a lot easier uh again keep in mind that oil that comes out of your oil pan dump it okay it's no good cannot reuse it because when you pull out this module okay down there i'm going to show you where it's at the coolant will actually drop in because because it's exposed on the side of the block. So again, if you just did an oil change, sorry, replace it anyway, okay? I had a customer tell me, oh, I just replaced it. You know what, I'm not gonna take a chance and put that oil into something else, into a container, and hope everything is good. Um, again, I'm just not gonna take that risk. So oil itself, dump it, gone. Uh, we're gonna flush the entire system out. And again, as you can see, this one's pretty clear, but this is not this the, is truck the truck we're working on. So we're gonna try to clean this out as good as possible. We're gonna have to flush the system out. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's it's kind of a lengthy process. And the reason you wanna do this is because you wanna just flush everything out as good as possible. So when you put nice, clean 50-50 antifreeze, everything is good to go. Again, this module is gonna come out. This line is gonna get replaced, so don't worry about breaking it. This you can reuse. You can reuse that hose. There's a blue one up there. I always put that one new. Uh, this filter, new. This filter, of course, is gonna come new. Thermostat is fine, that, nothing really happens to that. Water pump is fine. So again, just to give an idea of what we're doing. Um, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so go. I mentioned oil has to come out. We're gonna dump the oil. Uh, doesn't matter how new it is or how good you think it is. Dump it. We're gonna start with new oil and I'll show guys, you why. Take a look. This is what it looks like when you have oil in your coolant. And again, that's gonna be because of the module. I'll show you that, of course, in the video, but this is what it looks like. So this is why you have to dump it. I'm gonna show you out. while Tony's doing that. Take a look at the oil housing. Okay, you're gonna see a bunch of oil in there. And again, that is because of the mixture. So we're gonna show you how to fix that. There's a bunch of accessories that have to come out. Uh, it's not fun, it's a lot of work. I'd say about maybe six to 10 hours, depending on your skill. Uh, again, you still have to flush the system out, so that does not account into that time frame. So anyway, this is what we're doing, this is where we're at. The module is about to come out. There's about 11 bolts. I'll show you which ones they are. We'll take it out. We'll take out the entire module. Uh, we're gonna let everything overnight just kind of drip its way out. And then we'll clean it up, put it all back together, and we'll go from there. So again, just to give an idea of what we're doing and what needs okay, to be guys, done. Okay guys, so everything is out of the way. We've taken off all 10, 11 bolts that have held everything on there. As you can see, there's a couple empty spots. And we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing out. Be careful when you do that. Make sure you have something to catch all the oil and coolant because you're going to have a lot of it. And it's actually falling out by itself. So let me put the phone down, stop recording. And we'll okay, go so Tony's going to go ahead and take this out really quick. I hope you can see that. And you're going to see down there all that oil. It's going to collect. So make sure you get something underneath it to collect everything. So he's pulling that out. I'm putting this down. Okay, guys, so take that. a look. This is the oil cooler fuel module assembly, whatever you guys want to call it. And if you're gonna notice, this is why I tell you the oil that you're gonna take out is no good because whatever coolant is here is gonna to mix to here and around here. And this is all your oil, and this is all your coolant. Now, right behind here, that's exactly where the problem you have as far as the oil seeping into the coolant is right behind your oil cooler, okay? There are eight bolts, those are Torx head. I don't know if it's a T30, T25. Anyway, you guys will figure it out once, you, once you're there. 
And again, there are four, there are, correction, there are eight of them, okay? So two, four, six, eight. Once you do that, this assembly will come out. You're gonna see two O-rings back here. You're going to replace those, okay? Let me show you those. Okay, so check this out. Again, there are eight, and you are gonna need your Torx, and I think it's gonna be a 25, a T25. But anyway, if I'm wrong, Okay guys, so take a look. That is where your module gets mounted up. So as you can see, this is all your coolant. There's our oil that's mixing in. And the reason why, again, I tell you the oil that you take out is no good because right underneath, right there, coolant will fall from there, go into there, and which is your oil and your oil pan. So again, automatically, all that oil, dump it out, don't reuse it. And we're gonna get this cleaned up tomorrow morning. We're gonna put a new gasket on there. I'm gonna show you all the parts that are needed and hopefully get this thing all flushed out and get this guy back on the road as soon as possible. So again, clean it up, make it look pretty and uh, get this guy back okay, guys, on the road. So yesterday I thought I was recording and unfortunately I did not hit the record button. So I have the oil module, coolant module assembly out of the truck, as you can tell. The oil cooler sits right here and these are the two O-rings that I was telling you about. These commonly leak and allow coolant, I'm sorry, oil to mix into the coolant. Okay, again, oil goes through here and returns and then it passes through here because these little O-rings or these seals get hard and brittle. So this one is already flat, as you can tell. So it lost some of its life and see how easy that breaks. So because of that, you're gonna get the mixture of, again, oil in the coolant. Okay, so we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this all up as best we can. Um, if you clean it up, don't use a wire brush. Use something that's a lot softer, maybe a razor or a plastic razor. And once you get it all cleaned up, we're gonna install new O-rings or new seals. The oil cooler, we're gonna put a new one. I'm not gonna take a chance and use the old one just because of a lot of the um, possible mixture that's gone through there, or maybe just a, I don't want to pressure test it. I just want to get it going. So. Again, we're gonna put a brand new cooler, we're gonna put new seals, new gasket, clean it all up and get it going. So I wanted to show you that and uh, let's get it okay, cleaned so up. So we have this cleaned up, uh, cleaned up as much as possible, okay? Again, use a razor or plastic razor, something like that. Try not to use a wire brush because of the material itself. You don't wanna actually go in deep and make a mistake or make a deep gash. And what happens is you're now gonna have possibly a coolant leak, oil leak, or something else go again going on so again what you're going to want to do is just clean it up as best as possible so i know you see this red stuff on here i'm going to give it a, a once over just make sure i get it all out uh, most of it's actually just gone it's kind of just stained from the previous uh, gasket or whatever was on here so again we're going to clean this up let me show you the new parts. okay guys so some of the new things you're going to need obviously i'm going to replace the oil cooler you don't have to do that but this is entirely up to me we're going to put a new oil cooler your seals are gonna actually sit right there. See, one seal, two seal. And these are your two seals. They're both the exact same parts. Doesn't matter, you can not You can mix them up. You really can't mess that up. And you are also going to need, let me show you here, a new seal or gasket, okay? This is gonna get mounted up in between the engine block and the oil cooling module um, or coolant module, whatever you want to call it, the module itself. This is what's going to sit in between. This is what's going to create that nice little barrier in between everything. And again, clean up the block as well. So we're doing that. Clean the module. And once you're all done, we're going to put it all together. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you do need to torque these eight bolts down. Again, it's an inverted Torx. You have to torque it down. Okay, I think it's about 22 foot pounds, but I'm going to double check the book. So, Everybody, here so we go. check this out. This is the oil cooler installation. As you're going to see, this is the pattern that Detroit recommends. It's just a kind of your cross pattern or X pattern, whatever you want to call it. You're going to see it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is the torque setting, 18 to 22 foot pounds. And that's it. You're going to put your new O-rings in. You're going to put your new cooler in or your used cooler as long as it's good. Once you do that, you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, there's an extra step that I like to take. I'm going to show you what that step is. But first, again, we're gonna install the seals, put the new cooler on, which is right there, and we're gonna torque it down. But I'm gonna show you one little extra thing that I do. Uh, it's up to you if you wanna do it. If not, that's okay, quite guys. Right. So I don't know if you can tell, but I have my seals installed. And what I like to do is just add a little bit, not a lot, a little bit of the gasket eliminate from Detroit, okay? Just add a little bit on the top, kind of helps create that extra seal, at least I feel it does. Again, we're still gonna torque it down 
and go from there. Okay guys, so you can see we have our new gasket mounted on there. If you're gonna notice directly behind it, I did put a little bit of the gasket eliminate. And again, I just do that so that it seals everything nice. Uh, hopefully fills in some of the little spots that I maybe didn't see. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you the engine block. We're gonna install it, we're gonna torque it all down and put all back together and that's pretty much it. This video is gonna be short. Okay guys, sweet. so here is the side of the engine block. Now I actually put a little too much of the gasket eliminate, but again, you are gonna you get the idea what we're trying to do is we're just gonna try to fill in some of the blanks all the way around. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more. I didn't realize I put that much, uh, a little too heavy on that one. So clean it up a little bit more. Um, I'm still gonna leave some on there. We're gonna install the module on there. We're gonna torque it all down and that's pretty much it. Okay, so just to give you guys an idea of what's going on and how to take care of that problem, which again, oil in. Okay, so you can see there, the module is back, it's installed. Um, it's kind of hard to record it as you are installing it because of the size of the module. So anyway, we got it installed. We're gonna put everything back on there and that's pretty much it. We're gonna torque it all down. You have to torque that module down. Put all the accessories in. We're gonna flush out the system. Obviously, we're gonna put new motor oil in there and go from there. So we still have a few more hours of work to do, but I wanted to show you that. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions or anything, uh, please let me know, hit me up. If you like the video, thumbs up. I'm trying to make the videos a little bit shorter and faster and to the point, and that's pretty much it. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.